This is the brand new Specialized Alley. It aims to bring specialized performance down to a more attainable level. So what's new? Well, compared to the outgoing Alley, this one obviously has disc brakes and some of you will not be very happy to hear that there is no rim brake model and it's therefore hard to see where a rim brake bike will fit into specialized range in the future. Now using disc brakes does obviously bring about a few more changes. This has 12 millimeter through axles, for example. And a bigger benefit than perhaps the more modulation of disc brakes is that this now has clearance for 35 mil tires or 32 mil with mud guards. Oh yes, this one comes with full mud guard mounts. And that makes a lot of sense on a bike like this. A specialized alley is great for beginners or as a second bike or a winter bike it's really quite a versatile machine despite those extra tire clearances the geometry remains largely unchanged so this is specialized endurance geometry it's got quite a long top tube and that will suit the less racery kind of people that don't have uh well the pros flexibility obviously there is a few minor changes the the chain stays have got a little bit longer to fit in those larger tires this is this particular model has got 30 mil tires on and you can see just how much space there is around the around the fork so like the old model it's got semi-internal cable routing they're obviously in the frame down the down tube and then they're exposed under the chain stay there so whereas the old alley came in sport elite and comp this one will just come in sport and elite that's the the upper two tiers uh, specialized say that, that is because they wanted the alley to still bring performance and uh, they couldn't bring that at the lower price point they have exactly the same alloy frame and full carbon fork but they differ in their specification so that's the group set and various other bits and bobs so the Alley will only be available up to 105 spec level. Beyond that, if you want aluminium, you're going to have to go for the Alley Sprint, which obviously gets the racier geometry. And if you want to see my personal Alley Sprint, then you can click the card up there or there or there. <laughs> Comparing this again to the outgoing Alley, the seat stays have been dropped slightly more. Um, Specialized say that that's for comfort. And one nice feature is that this makes an A the bridge across the seat stays. Don't know if that's just because it's an alley or whether it's functional as well. We'll find out out on the road. So as we previously mentioned, the Specialized Alley is traditionally a starter bike, a first proper road bike. And it's not the lightest in this particular getup, but that is with Tiagra and the Rover Axis wheels are quite weighty as well. But it is ripe for upgrades, so if you buy this get into cycling decide you really like it then you could invest a bit more into the frame so you could get a carbon set of wheels for example or start upgrading the components down at the bottom you'll find a bsa threaded bracket in fact you'll find one of them on the entirety of specialized road range well the day's drawing to a close and i guess i'd better give you some first ride impressions the alley is a everything you expect it to be it's a very well put together machine and in many ways it's an evolution of the outgoing alley despite that there is some fairly revolutionary changes such as the wider tire clearances and disc brakes it handles just the way an endurance bike should with predictable handling and although you might not be in the most aggressive position that's ideal for beginners and those long endurance rides it's clear to see that plenty of tech has trickled down into this alley and well what do you think let us know down in the comments section below you can check out our full review coming soon over on the road cc website if you like this video and want to see more like this then please like comment and subscribe